I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling my feeling myself. I'm feeling my I'm feeling my feeling my feeling my feeling myself. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jay Westbrook. Today I am going to do a top knot bun. I'm going to do this hair on an old wash and go that I did. It's probably about like three or four days old. So I just put it in these plaits to kind of give my hair a little bit of extra stretch or help with the stretching process. So we're going to see how this goes. Luckily the hair, like I said, is Afro kinky hair that I'm going to be using for the top knot portion. So hopefully it's going to be all blended out well and you guys are going to join me on this ride to do this top knot. So stay tuned as we get into this video. So because my hair is really thick and it hasn't been stretched that much, I'm going to try to put my hair in a knot like I guess in sections I'm gonna hold this here for now just to make sure Ooh, that the perimeter is enough for me to do this Stickity stickity style. Um, and then the hair that I'll be using, y'all. I don't even have the pack for this hair anymore, but this is like the texture and what it looks like. Um, I will have to put in the description box what the name of it is. I have to do a little research, but I forgot at the moment. But the hair is really, um, like almost identical to mine. I think it's gonna, it's gonna look cute. It's gonna look cute. So. That's what we need to go ahead and get this started. So let me figure out how to put this first piece of bun up and we'll see how it goes. Okay, y'all, so I got the first knot up there. I just put like a little rubber band on the end so that it can stay like in an upward motion. As you can see, or direction rather. Um, as you can see, this is not perfect. This is just like the interior, the interior bun. This is kind of cute. I feel like something off Aladdin. Um... So that's why I didn't put a whole bunch of gel on there, no edge control or anything like that, just because that's the internal one. Like, I'm not really too worried about how that one looks. So for the second portion, this is the part that counts the most, darling. So what I'm going to do, trigger warning, it's a lot of gel on my ears. <laughs> I'm going to grab this much gel, for starters. Um... And just create like a little perimeter around my hairline. And then I'm going to do that for the back and sides also. Just smooth with my hand, smooth with my hand. Ooh, this gel is cold. And I'm taking maybe like the same amount each time and like smoothing it on there. Alright, so now that we have that kind of going, I'm going to go in with my second tier. And this is the um, my favorite one, the 24-Hour Edge Tamer by Eben, EBI in New York. I love this stuff. Like, they're a little pricey now for this. I think this is one little thing cost me like basically $20. It was like, like $16.99 or something like that. Something like that. An arm and a leg. But... I pay it because it's so worth it. So I just take some, put it on my hands, and I do the same type of deal. And you can see when I put this on there, it really, my hair likes this mixture. The Eco Styler Gel with this um, edge control product. My hair really likes it. Like, look at that. Wave check. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing and smooth the back. Really making sure I put a little extra love on the nape. So smooth, smooth, smooth. And then as I'm smoothing, I'm pulling the ends. Pulling the ends of the hair. Because I want it to, to already know, like, we're going this way. So let's all prepare and get on board and go that way. Set that edge control to the side. Um, then we're going to bring in the brush to, like, reinforce it. Of like we're going up y'all we're going up so it just needs to know we're going up okay and I feel like that's looking good so far this right here I don't care too much about because like I said my edges are a little thin um so I'm gonna leave those parts out anyway because I mean I don't want to make them no thinner you know what I'm saying okay Woo! This is the part where, like, the upper body strength is important. Okay, so I'm consistently, like, adding gel and just, like, doing a little cleanup and maintenance as I'm getting it all together. Taking my brush, smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. And I'm really making sure not to, like, pull too tight. I want the edge control and the gel to really be doing the work here of like keeping it slick not like me pulling it to be too tight. Um, so I'm not going to pull it too tight at all. For me it works best when I grip the the ponytail like this versus like gripping it this way. I like to underhand grip it because the base of my hands here like I can really I can get up in that thing. <laughs> like I just feel like I have a more confident and tighter grip on it um so once i have it gripped the way i like i take like the bigger the bigger one bigger hair tie and i twist it um or loop it together and then i just start to put this on there um just like that only do it like two times y'all like i am not doing it tight at all like that's it you'll see like I have a hump back there but we're gonna take take care of that but my main focus is how laid it is around the perimeter um because again my hair is natural it's not it's not relaxed it's not straightened it's not like blow dried or anything like that so it's still gonna like look kinky and thick and full and that's kind of the goal so that's okay so then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this out and this is the one that i put in like the internal internal puff and i'm gonna take this all up make sure i stretch it pull and stretch and pull and stretch and i'm actually going to twist this okay and then take my rubber band Ooh. Use a hair fell down. Take my rubber band and band up the end. So I'm looking like alfalfa or a genie. Um, yeah. And then again, I'm just double checking. His hair just fell again. Um, that everything is okay. And then you can go in with. Uh oh. Sticking out. You can go in with that edge control again just to start like cleaning things up a bit. You know, make sure any hairs or flyaways are like down. But y'all gonna see, just just trust the tr trust trust the process here. Then I'm gonna take this. This is old like stretchy elastic leggings um that i had this is the best thing ever i know that they sell those like um things that people use to like use to like lay their wigs down those little like things that are probably like this big i forget what you call them but they like i don't know three dollars in the beauty spot store that ain't got shit on old leggings elastic -y ones so i'm gonna take that or this Spread it as wide as I can. And I'm going to wrap that bad boy around. 
like that. <clears throat> and to hold it in place, I'm going to use a rubber band, those little black rubber bands. And just tie that around there a bunch of times. Throw the little baby in place. And bam, it's not going on there. Now that we have our edges cooking and whatnot up under there, it's time to install the hair. You're going to need a crochet hook. Um, and then take some hair. Again, I'm going to put the name of this hair in the description box. But the hair comes kind of like already sectioned off in these pieces. I use about two of the pieces at a time. Like, it really doesn't matter how much you use. Just use some. Okay, what you're going to do is take the needle, open hook, um, slide it through, hook the hair on, slide it back through, um, the loop that was created from that, slide your hair through that loop. And bam, that's going to be your first one. And then you just continue um, to do that. Like in this one, I'll just use one little piece. I mean, it really doesn't matter um, like how many pieces you use at a time. Like the first time I used two, this time I'm using one. It just really depends on, I guess, where you're placing the hair. But again, just slide through. Close it, slide it back off, put in the loop, and pull tight. And you just do that all around the perimeter of, like this, this might be too big, so I'm going to rip this in half. Um, and this hair is old, like I used this hair before to do the same exact style. And I took it down and... Now I'm using it and putting back in there. But you do want to make sure, like, that, that's not, that's not a good, mm -mm. don't use that one. So go in a different spot. Like go in a little more and then pull it through. Because you want the, the hair that you're being in, like the knot, to be on a secure, a secure, a secure base. So you just work this, work this out all the way through. I'll show y'all a couple more times, but like I have a good amount in the front. So now I'm gonna go to the side, get a little bit in there, hook that on, slide it through. Take your loopy loop that you got here. Pull the hair through and pull, pull, pull. And you're just going to do that all around. All right, once you have everything to your liking, what you'll want to do is play with it a bit. So I twisted mine a little bit there. And I'm going to like bring it around. And then you just got to keep playing with it to see like... How you like it? Is it even? Is like your natural hair tucked away under there? Really until you get the desired look that you want. I think this is... I think I might like something like this. The name of this game is just pinning. So you're just taking hairpins and sliding them in until you get it like to a point where it's able to hold on its own. So, I'm going to come back on here, um, I'm going to put a scarf around here, and then I'm going to show y'all what the finished result looks like um, after it's had a little time to like sit and set and dry a little bit. You guys, look at this bun. This is so cute. Mm. I'm so pleased. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it for the gram today with this so if y'all want to like see some photos of like my little outfit of the day with my orange and my cute little earrings like head over to my Instagram underscore JS West X Westbrook thank you so much again for checking in with me in another video and I'll see you guys in my next one peace